Hey, welcome back guys so today I will be covering another important topic on quality that is seven basic UC tools so if you are visiting my page for the first time I would recommend you to please subscribe to my youtube channel and please hit the bell icon so that you are uh, aware of all the new videos which I will be uploading soon so this channel is all about uploading all the videos related to statistics, six sigma quality and project management so today we will be covering seven basic UC tools so let's begin so let's look at first the history of the seven basic QC tools. So in the 1960s, the Karu Ishikawa, who then introduced the use of seven QC tools, his thinking was that the quality can be controlled at the operator level and the tool needed to be in place for the early detection of the problems. The tools he developed were based on the quality philosophies developed by the Walter Schiwert and the Edward Deming in the 1930s and 1940s. Karu Shikawa designed the tools to be simple enough so that the average Japanese worker could use them successfully. So this was the philosophy behind this uh, creation of 7 QC tools. So let's talk about uh, other things. Like these basic QC tools are the means for collecting data, analyzing data, and identifying the root cause and measuring the result. They are basically known as base, they are called basic because they are the suitable for the people with little formal training in statistics and because they can be used to solve the vast majority of quality related issues. It is believed that 95% of the problems in the company can be solved by using these 7 QC tools. Let's start with the first. Let's start with the first QC tool that is process flow diagram. It is one of the seven QC tools. Uh, they are basically used to investigate where the improvements can be made. Graphs are among the simplest and the best technique to analyze and display data. Basic shapes are being used to construct the process flow diagram. Then we have the common flowchart symbols as shown in the picture, the basic processing symbol, decision symbol, flow line, and the start and stop symbol. So let's look at the let's let's look at the another uh, form of QC tool that is a check sheet. The check sheet is a form used to collect data in the real time at the location where the data is generated. Data is captured can be qualitative and qualitative. So I have another video on my channel where you can look at different types of statistical data which will give you difference between what is the difference between the qualitative and the quantitative data. When the information is quantitative the check sheet is sometimes also known as tally sheet. So this is the example of check sheet which is given over there. Uh, you can see that at the top we have uh, different days of the week and on the top uh, on the left side we have the the different categories so at the bottom we have the different tally of records of each category on each day so the next tool what we are going to discuss is the histogram this tool is used to show how often and when the problem occurs. So this histogram basically looks very much like a bar chart. It is used when the numerical data is available. The histogram is often used to tell us if the process can meet the customer's requirement or not. So let's look at the one of the examples of the histogram. These two are based on the left and the other on the right side are the typical examples of a histogram. So the next uh, what we are going to discuss is the Pareto diagram. Named after the Wilfred Pareto is a type of chart that contains both bars as well as line graphs. It is also known as 80-20 rule. It means that the 80% of the problem may be caused by the 20% of the causes. So let's, let's look at few examples of Pareto diagram. Which the one on the left side is give the different types of hardware defects and in its proportion with respect to its percentage and frequency and on the right side uh, there is a Pareto principle which says that the 20 percent of input in the form of time resources and effort accounts for the 80 percent of the output in the form of results or the rewards 
what we are going to focus is only on the 20% of what that is matters to us. So let's, so let's look at uh, another uh, QC tool that is your cause and effect diagram. This is also known as fishbone diagram because of its fish like appearance. This tool is used to show the possible causes of a problem. It basically allows team to identify, explore and to ultimately discover its root cause. So on your right side is the effect in the form of Y and on the left side are the different causes. So we have 4M that is your manpower, method, machine and material and the uh, uh, different uh, causes are contributing to the single effect. So scatter diagram. So scatter uh, basically requires the two different sets of data or the variables. Uh, one is known as the independent variable x and another is known as the dependent variable y which so they both are related to each other by the equation y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, C is the constant or M is the slope here. The examples of scatter diagram includes are shown here on the screen. On the left side we have a very positive correlation between the two variables X and Y where dots are very close to each other and the slope is positive. In the middle we have a very negative correlation in the form that the slope is negative but the, the relation is very positive we have very inverse relationship between the two variables on the right extreme right there is no correlation between the two variables so the control charts so it is basically used to determine if the process is within the statistical control or going out of control affected by the special cause of variation so i have another video on my channel where you can look at all the different uh, causes of variation including the special cause of variation and the common cause of variation do check out that video a control chart is basically used to determine the process variation that can be classified as a result of either common cause or because of the special cause so they basically gives the alarm and the process goes out of control so let's look at one of the examples of control charts here if you look at this line, uh, we have the upper control limit and the lower control limit and the process average and all the points are plotted. Uh, there are few places at a number of say at point number 3 where it is going out of specification. Rest point are still within control limit so all the points within the control limit of upper are the common causes and the point number 3 which is going beyond the upper control limit is the special cause of variation. So we need to find out the root cause of this special cause why this occur and try to bring it in control. Then we look at the what are the benefits of using this 7 basic QC tools. They are simple and easy to implement, provide a quick results, helps bring out process improvements enhances customer focus and power your employees to analyze and solve problems encourages intellectual capital development and encourages teamwork